Hello, my beautiful Sagittariuses. Welcome to your bi-weekly love forecast for October 13th to October 27th. Thank you guys so much for liking, sharing, and subscribing, and thank you to all of my members. Uh, guys, if you wanna follow me on Facebook or Instagram, or you would like a personal read with me, all my information is in the description box below. So uh, we're gonna go over your overall romantic love life, and then we're gonna uh, get some advice, and then we're gonna jump onto our singles. So stick with me till the end. Let's jump right in. All right, so what's going on with my Sagittarius's romantic love life for October 13th to October 27th? Show me the cards I need to see. Show me the cards I need to see. Okay, that feels good. All right, what's going on with my Sagittarius's romantic love life? For October 13th to October 27th. Let's go my Sagittarius and Romantic Love Life for October 13th to October 27th. Show my cards I need to see. Show me the cards I need to see. Okay, current situation, it looks like there's a sense of isolation or separation here because somebody wants some kind of justice. They want justice, they want a, a just choice, a just decision. What do I always say about justice? divorce or marriage or just truth or just decision. There's a sense of isolation or separation because of the sense of wanting this justice. Um, so we see that there is a lack of hope or optimism when it comes to this opportunity of true love, Ace of Cups energy. So the blockage delay and challenges, somebody is lacking the optimism and there's uncertainty about this is true love, Ace of Cups energy. There's a lot of thinking, contemplating and analyzing here. At the foundation of the manor, there's some stress going on here with the mice card energy. And there's a person that's being very logical about things. They're like being very political, being very logical here with the king of swords energy. At, in the past, there was this abrupt decision that happened here uh, when it came to celebration, hanging out, friendship, three of cups energy or uh, somebody abruptly cut something away, cut something out when it came to more than one choice or option here. There was a sense of completion. At the head of the matter here, there's some blockages, delays, and challenges here with the mountain card energy uh, because of somebody who maybe is not committing here with the Knight of Wands energy or it's a sense of somebody's being a player here with the Knight of Wands energy or because of some uh, actions towards passion here with the Knight of Wands energy, okay? So we see in the near future, okay, Lily's card is here. So somebody is being patient or trying to be wise in your decision making, okay? And this is causing this stuck and stagnant energy here with the hangman energy. Okay, so let's take a look at this. So this delays and challenges are here because of some kind of abrupt decision or something was cut away or cut out, which caused a lot of stress here. Something was taken away. Um, and now somebody's trying to be patient here or trying to make wise decisions or something to do with a long time. Knight of Wands energy shows me maybe somebody was uh, not committing here. The Knight of Wands energy, there was some commitment issues or there was a sense of, I wanna go towards my passions, I wanna hang out, I wanna celebrate. And there was a sense that somebody was trying to be very logical and wise in their decision making using their head, which caused this kind of energy of, man, things are kind of stuck and stagged in here with the hangman energy. Or I need to see this from a new way and a new perspective. Okay. See, let's see how your love interest sees the situation. They see this as hurt or pain and arguments and disputes about attraction here with the Queen of Wands energy. So they're trying to make some kind of choice about attraction. And how do they feel? They feel that, that you're, uh, you're an opportunity for them. That they feel that there is something important about you. Um, and they feel like they're gonna wait for the opportunity, they're gonna wait for success here, Three of Wands energy. So they're waiting here for this opportunity with you, okay? And they feel like there's hurt or pain when it comes to this attraction. That's how they see the situation, that they do see you as attractive, they do see you as important here. Uh, let's see what's going on, let's do some clarity here. What's this Aries Sagittarius Leo energy about, please? This King of Wands, this Knight of Wands energy, what's this about? Show my cards I need to see. Show my cards I need to see. Ace of Wands, some kind of opportunity of passion, which caused some kind of heartache here and uh, a sense of a missed opportunity or there was a lot of things that are offered that weren't being accepted when it comes to work or boss or control here. 
and somebody had a sense that something wasn't an equal give and take, six of pentacles energy, so they were trying to do some deep, heavy soul searching about it. Okay, um, what is this, uh, this key card about? Because remember, key card represents yes, it represents success, it represents important. So they feel that you're important to them and they're waiting for the opportunity. What's the key card about, please? Give me some more information about this key card. Show me cards I need to see. Show me cards I need to see. They're having the sense they're being left out in the cold because of these big surprises, these big changes. Um, when it came to some kind of sense of accomplishment or completion, when it came to messages. And obviously there was a sense of something moving very fast uh, about a twin flame soulmate connection or a choice when that made with the heart. So they're waiting, they're waiting for the opportunity for you. They're waiting for things to, to, to work out here. It looks like, uh, cause they do see this as an opportunity. They do want to be successful here with you feelings wise. They want some kind of healing and recovery here and they're trying to make a choice. They're waiting here for the ships to come in, waiting for the opportunity because they are attracted to you with the queen of wands energy. Okay. So what's the influence here? Influence is news or messages. Uh, a knight of swords can be a very harsh kind of energy. Okay, news or messages of a very harsh kind of argumentative kind of energy or news or messages of an abrupt decision or uh, news or messages of something, uh, somebody feels like somebody wants things to move fast here. They wanna move fast on this. Uh, also the, the writer card energy can show somebody wants to fulfill their wishes and they want um, there's also can show, uh, that somebody wants to, uh, hear from you. Okay. Or they want to give you news and messages. They want, they want, they want to come rushing back in here with the Knight of Swords energy. There's some kind of opportunity here. Okay. Let's see what the, uh, okay. Let's see what the outcome is before we do that though. I want to see what the advice is. Okay. Okay, so the advice is uh, take an action towards love and romance. Okay, so uh, take an action and use your heart here to take that action. Okay, romantic gestures. That's the Knight of Cups energy. That's your advice. So I see that uh, Six of Cups energy uh, it does look like there's going to be some kind of reconciliation here. Uh, there's definitely some things coming up pertaining to the past with the Six of Cups energy. Okay, there is still a sense of a mystery or some things yet to be known here with the High Priestess card energy or something secret here about the situation with the High Priestess card or some unknowns here. Um, there is that this person wants some kind of control around the situation. Okay, or they're trying to gain control of the situation. Okay, so let's keep going here. Okay, so some things to, about the past because something ended, stopped, or completed. We see the Clover card energy. It's something to do with a reconciliation and uh, happiness here, Sun card energy. So something that ended, stopped, or completed because of something to do with the past. There's some kind of reconciliation and a sense of happiness. Let's, let's clarify that High Priestess card energy. So it does look like there's some kind of reconciliation happening for you guys. All right. What is going on with this High Priestess card energy? Show me cards I need to see. Show me cards I need well the high priestess is here because i feel like you're trying to figure out do i want to get my cup of love do i not want to get my cup of love when it comes to the soulmate connection and you're waiting for that right opportunity here with the three of wands energy to speak your truth about it okay um what's up with the emperor card energy what's up with this emperor card energy show me the cards you need to see show me the cards you need to see Okay, so uh, the emperor is there. His emperor represents control. Somebody wants control. They want things organized and structured in a certain way. So it's a sense of an ideal situation and wanting to speak a truth about wishes being fulfilled with the Nine of Cups energy. Uh, and there's some flirting or potential passion here and some kind of hope around the situation with the star card energy. So they're hopeful about things. So we see that something ended stopped or completed here there's a reconciliation happening or luck is on your side and then big luck here with the sun card energy uh there's some things coming up pertaining to the past or a reconciliation for some of you and there's something to do with gaining knowledge and trying to take control of things with the emperor card energy and eight is putting the worker effort into a choice around stability and stables and structuring things and organizing things in a certain way come back to your advice 
um, make this action with your heart. Take an action with your heart. All right, my darlings, I love you guys so much. You know I love to hear from you guys in the comments below what's going on with you. All right, I'm gonna, bear with me for a second while I clear this out of the way for our singles. Okay. Okay, what's going on with my Sagittarius Singles Romantic Love Life for October 18th till October 27th? Show me the cards I need to see. Show me the cards I need to see. What's going on with my Sagittarius Singles Romantic Love Life for October 13th to October 27th? Show me the cards I need to see. Show me the cards I need to see. Okay, let's cut this. Okay. So we see that in the current situation, um, I feel like uh, somebody wants to hold on to you with the Four of Pentacles energy. Okay, so someone's trying to hold on to you. The blockage is they're trying to gain clarity here with the Ace of Swords energy, or there's a lack of clarity here or a lack of answers. At the foundation of the matter, there is a, a trying to figure out, all right, should I give my cup of love? Should I not give my cup of love? Queen of Cups energy. In the past, there was a sense of a work environment, a team environment, or wanting to build some kind of foundation here with the Three of Pentacles energy, or some of you had some serious potential here, possibly more than one choice or option there. And at the head of the matter, there was a sense of confusion. So you guys are a bit confused about this. So, and you lack, obviously the blockage is a lacking, lacking of clarity or answers. In the near future, there is a sense of unknown or mystery or trying to gain knowledge or trying to use your intuition here or something spiritual about the situation with the High Priestess card, or you're just trying to gain knowledge about your situation here. So we go here and we say that uh, at the head of the matter, there's a sense of confusion, right? In the past, you had more than one choice or option or you're trying to work towards a foundation here. And now you're trying to figure out, should I give my cup of love? Should I not give my cup of love? And there's a sense of mystery, unknown, or trying to gain knowledge because you lack the answers that you need here. The, ah, wow, the influence of your romantic love life. There's some kind of big potential offer being presented to you. Some kind of potential here, Ace of Pentacles here, right? When the High Priestess comes out, sometimes it's like the book card energy. It's like spirit is just saying something is yet to be known in the near future that they don't want to tell. So something is yet to be known in the near future. And there is an influence of this potential offer, a serious offer here, Ace of Pentacles energy. Okay. Uh, let's, before we go forward to this outcome here, I want to get some advice for you guys. Okay. Hermit card energy is telling me that you need to do some deep, heavy soul searching here. You need to isolate yourself and separate yourself and do some deep, heavy soul searching here with the Hermit card energy. I feel like somebody is trying to flirt with you. Page of Wands energy coming up here. Okay, so you're going to you're gonna have some flirty energy or potential passion here. I feel like someone's not being completely straightforward or not telling the complete truth here with the Seven of Swords energy or there's going to be a sense of deception around this flirty energy or you're going to feel like they're not telling you everything like they're kind of hiding some things behind their back right there you see there's there's they're, they're not showing all their swords right there's one sword that's behind this person's back so they're not showing all the thoughts that they have going on there they're not they're they're hiding something there um it, the reason is is because this person is trying to be very logical about things they're trying to use their head over their heart here okay so we see there's this potential passion because someone's doing a lot of thinking and contemplating and analyzing because they want to be wise in their decision making so they're trying to be very political and logical here with the situation with you and remember you need to do some deep heavy soul searching here that is what your advice is in the situation all right my darlings i want to thank you again so much if you like this please like share and subscribe and of course, if you'd like a personal read with me, go to my website, jenniferwalkerzen.com, or check out the description box below. Thank you to all of my members, and I love you guys so much. I'll be seeing you guys in another day or two, so I'll be seeing you soon.